I'm just waking up and check out my view. Wow. All right, here we go again. Got my Polar M600, which is once again going to keep good track of me. Today shouldn't be too hard of a day, um, but it's always nice just to know the distance, how many steps, how many calories you're burning, and it looks like it's a negative three degrees Celsius out there. So that's why I'm all bundled up. I'm not really showering and I probably won't for the next couple weeks because it's just too damn cold. So this stuff is just vital. <laughs> Big breakfast. Big breakfast looks so good. Thank you. Mm. Here's another trekking pro tip. Bring toilet paper. A lot of the bathrooms don't have toilet paper. And you're gonna want this. Believe me. Change my jacket. Alright, ready to trek. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Alright, here we go. I'm all set. Heading deeper into the Himalayas. Heading towards Timboche right now. It's amazing how quickly your heart starts pumping at this altitude and you're going straight up. Oh, watch out. Hi guys. How's it? How's it? It is definitely too hot now for a hat. I get to show off my cool new haircut. Namaste. Okay, namaste. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. Thank you very much. <laughs> so this old gentleman on the side of the path here is taking donations. I guess he maintains this trail. It's his life mission to maintain this trail and make sure that it's in good condition for trekkers. In case you're wondering which way to turn these prayer wheels, this one has instructions. Come on buddy, you can do it. These yaks are hurting. This is a pretty steep hill right here. I've made it all the way back down to the river. Pretty easy downhill, but that only means one thing. I gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> These prayer wheels are powered by water. I love it. They're just spitting out the good vibes. Top speed. All right, I had the easy downhill for the last hour. Time to go up. It's pretty amazing what your legs can do when you just march and go forward. I've been going for about two and a half hours, four and a half miles, average heart rate 106 beats per minute. That's good, I don't think I'm gonna have a heart attack. I'm in the safety zone, baby. Ah. Hello, Mr. Shadow. How you feeling, buddy? I'm fine, thank you. I got to the top of the mountain here and there's a monastery and it just blows me away that there's civilization this far out in the middle of nowhere. Imagine the life living up here. Might get a little lonely, but man, you got the best of mother nature all around you. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is a bakery. Chocolate donuts. Plain donuts. Cinnamon roll. Bow. Okay, I'll try the chocolate cake. Oh, it looks amazing. This is definitely one of those moments in life where you just have to pinch yourself. Yes, this is real. This is really happening. I'm eating chocolate cake on top of the world. All right, let's check it out. 
Oh, nice cozy room. The most important thing though to me is a view. That, my friends, is a pretty solid view. Yeah. One of the best feelings in the world is taking off a backpack. Don't you think? <sighs> yes. I feel so good. I'm in the Himalayas. I love Nepal. Namaste. Looking at my watch. 6.47 miles, about three and a half hours. Average heart rate of 102. This is the important one. Calories burned, 1947. I gotta eat a lot of dal bot to replace those calories. I am a very happy boy right now. This view is incredible. I've got a plate of food. My body feels awesome. And I'm just loving life. I got to my destination pretty early today, around noon. So I'm just gonna go cruise around. Looks like there's a trail that goes up. So I'm gonna see if I can get a nice view of this little village that I'm in, which is absolutely picturesque. I'm continuing up, and as you might be able to see, I'm, I'm getting pretty high. Look at this. Oh my God, I have this place all to myself. I'm sorry I keep on using the same words to describe everything, but man, it's beautiful, it's epic. Oh, definitely worth the effort to get up here. I love you, world. This is the most epic place I've ever been. And I've been to a lot of epic places. I just can't get enough of this. Every day, Nepal is surprising me with with beauty, not just, you know, landscape beauty, but people, everything. I'm like overwhelmed right now with emotion. I'll never forget this moment for the rest of my life. I'll always think back to this being like one of my very happy places, sitting here all alone, perfect temperature, admiring the beauty of planet Earth all around me. This really is this is everything you could ever dream of, you know? Pretty awesome. Thank you, mom and dad. I know it didn't work out for you, but I'm, I'm very happy. Very, very happy. <laughs> it's time to turn off the camera and just sit here and just be, just be here. Goodbye, everybody. See you next time. trudging up the mountain with his amazing camera crew in tow, capturing every moment. That looked good, I hope.